Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 Coffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello again and welcome to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Uh, what I wanted to go over uh, in this little clip is uh, how to do lot tracking. Now in our little coffee endeavor um, we actually started buying uh, coffee, coffee beans, and uh, we wanted to lot track that since it's food. Uh, and this is sort of kind of in the honor of uh, the Fresh Summit, which we were just attending, a uh, food conference. So I'm going to go into my items and I'm going to create a new item. And this item is going to be number 70,065. I'll open this up a little bit. And I'm going to call this uh, Colombian coffee. Uh, my unit of measure is going to be pounds. I don't think I have that as an option here, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit new and create pounds as an option. So that's my base unit of measure. We buy uh, and sell in pounds. We might actually buy in bags of uh, more than a pound, uh, but the base of the measure is going to be pound. I'll talk about that later more. This is miscellaneous as well, like usual, and it's a FIFO, and the tax group code is non-taxable, since we're still with everything not taxable in our demo. Now, I want to track this, since this is food and it has an expiration date, um, and what I do in order to set that up is go into item tracking here. Now I'm going to go ahead and select lot specific tracking, lot all. And moreover, I'm going to take a quick look at what that means. So in lot all, if I go here into the setting and hit edit, um, you can set the tracking specification for this lot all code. And if I look at the lot uh, section, it is checked to be lot specific tracking, meaning we're actually going to require that the user puts lot in the purchasing and then the sale. If we do any positive adjustments or negative adjustments, if we use it on assembly or manufacturing or any type of sales tracking. Um, you know, so this is on the inbound side and this is on the outbound side purchase in, purchase out, sales in, sales out, positive. Actually, positive out doesn't really make sense, um, but in any case, it's outbound, inbound for everything. Uh, if lot specific is checked, it's going to require that all of these are checked, which basically means that the costing can be accurately done with the lot all over the place. Um, so it, it matches out the lot on the costing side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have this. Now I'm going to have number series for my lot because I will assign the lot number. And I'm going to just create a new number series. We did go through the number series in a different episode, how to create them. So I'm going to do this quickly. Oh, looks like we already have a lot in there. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to create a new one. So I'll call this C lot for coffee lots. And just F5 this. Starting number will be C lot 0001. Okay. And that's it. And now we are done with setting up the lot. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how that works in a purchase order. We'll go into a purchase order. And we're going to go ahead and buy some coffee. 
I'm going to get it into the blue warehouse. Uh, it's going to come from uh, wood experts. Yeah, they are also in coffee. Um, I'll look at the item coffee. And now I actually get, let me see, Colombians, coffee beans, here we go. Into the blue location. We are going to get a hundred pounds in. I'm going to pay three dollars a pound. Great deal. And now I actually have to go into line, tracking lines. This is because I need to specify the lot. If I would try to actually post this, let's say I put in the invoice and try to post, it will complain because lot number is required. No problem. We go here into line, tracking lines, and here it allows me to set up the lot or many lots for the item. I'm actually going to auto-generate the lot by hitting assign lot number. It automatically picks up in the number series. Oops. And 100 pounds are coming in on this lot. And that's all we need for now. And let me see. If I go in here, we have something called expiration date. I'm actually going to also put in the expiration date. So it's not visible by default in this screen. Let me just close this out. Go back in. I should see my expiration date. There it is. And this expires. Um, let me see. Um, 01 15 2018. That's it. So now I've actually specified the lot and the expiration date for my coffee beans. I will go ahead and post this. Receive an invoice. Now, if I am selling, I go to a sales order. It's going to require me to pick out of the lot again. I'll sell to the Canon Group. They have been waiting a long time for some good coffee. Canon Group is here. And it's an item. Uh, Colombian coffee. And we're going to sell them 35 pounds. Unit price of $5. And again, I need to specify the lot. So I go to line tracking lines. And it asks me, okay, now you have to select a lot. I go in here, click select or the three dots. And it displays that I have actually one lot in here. Um, for 100 pounds. I hit OK. It shows me the expiration date. Uh, yep, it has plenty of days left. And I hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and post this. Ship an invoice. And now that's out. Let's take a look at the item now. If I look at the item, uh, and I want to Take a look at the Colombian coffee. There it is. And at the entries, I can see that I have in and out entry. And if I do show column here again, or choose columns, I keep saying show column because the previous version said show column. I want to show the lot number. And let me see, and the expiration date. Let me put that up a little bit. Put that next to the quantity and the expiration date. Expiration date here. And now I can see 
that the uh, it came in 100 came in on this lot number the expiration date is the 18th and then we sold out of the same lot number 35 now the costing and everything will be isolated by the lot number uh, because we have uh, selected lot specific tracking and lot specific tracking actually requires you to say the lot or indicate the lot wherever you go uh, so the cost isolation level is on the lot number and that's how you work with lots in an AV.